It is the moment of truth. Right now, we are given the decision. Are we to go left or are we to go right? Are we to take the road less traveled by one dude that I read on TripAdvisor or are we to go his direction? <laughs> Not currently. Currently there are clouds in front of mountains. But it rained all night last night and I just want to see all the desert stuff just kind of suck up the water. It's cool. We are now saying goodbye to our, uh, where are we? Oh, Apache Junction campsite, which I have very much enjoyed, but I'm ready to go. Let's go. No helloing. Don't hello. Hello? No. Why did I stay? I should be leaving. Hey, what I say without even speaking. My compass is off. Why did I choose you? I'm just too lost. I need to cut loose. I keep it in my head. I keep it locked away. My friends think that this is over. So yeah, that's definitely a wagon being attacked, and there are definitely people shooting at the Indians. I love how the the, <laughs> the cowboys just look like, what? It's just, we're just traveling. It's fine. We didn't like take everything you own and all your land and all. And here we are in the Great Pacific Northwest. Uh, or at least that's what it looks like outside. It's almost like we didn't go anywhere at all. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's just a stark difference between where we began our first day and then a kind of cracked lake we found and how dry cactus, like everything dry. And then suddenly you go a couple hours and I, this could be California. Not only could this be California, but this could be like Yosemite. Yeah. Like oh yeah, Yosemite without a pine tree blight. Look yeah, at this, sure. look how beautiful all these trees are. I know. Poor Yosemite. So anyway, we are uh, running late to get Luna up to the uh, Flagstaff Library. We uh, took a quick stop at a rest stop and then um, made some sandwiches. That was a necessary stop though. I think all of us are, are happier as travelers when we are well fed and not just with too many snacky thingies, but yeah. substantial. Something substantial. Hi everybody, my name is Chris, that's Dad, that's Lona, and together we are heading into uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, um, where we're going to go get some pop. Nobody said that, stop saying that. No, no. no. People drink pop. Nobody drinks pop. Everybody drinks pop. Everybody loves pop. Well, sometimes there's a pop bag. Anyway, leave today. Today we're headed out to Flagstaff, Arizona to go check out the lava tubes, which I'm excited about. It's a big cave underground, and that's going to be awesome. Uh, I've been wanting to go to a cave forever. Like, I don't know what it is. It's been something about caves and canyons that are drawing me. You're getting in touch with your creature comfort. Oh, yes, yes. That's where like animals go to die, right? But, what? No. What? That's where animals go to get some pop. <laughs> no pop. No pop. No pop. <laughs> uh, but this is going to be, we got about 120 miles, and then we get to the Flagstaff Library. We get rid of the little one, not, not Lumpy, the other little one. Uh, and then uh, we go find ourselves a place to camp. It's going to be great. It will be a wonderful. Oh wait, don't, you gotta tell them about Jenny. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. Last night wasn't so great. We were nice and warm because uh, our good friend Jenny from the block, the engine block that is, 
our generator decided to uh, quit on us. And I'm not sure exactly why. It starts up, it runs for like a good 30 seconds or so, and then it shuts itself down. So I'm gonna investigate that uh, today while we, uh, while we make camp. And hopefully we still have a generator or else it's really hard to charge up like our anything. All the things. All the things, all the stuff, all the things, yeah. So luckily the weather is not gonna be horrible. It's gonna be a little chilly. So uh, at least we won't be dying of heat, but um, my daughter will be dying of lack of phone. And lack of computer. Which is necessary for school, so, you know, kind of necessary. And lack of crockpot. Lack like of crockpot? No one told me it was lack of crockpot. Mm -hmm. Is it lack of pop? Lack of pop? Lack of pop? No, there'll never be a lack of pop. Okay, good. I'm rolling my window down. Arizona. So while it is raining a lot, uh, it is pretty cool that we are going up and down these mountains between uh, Phoenix and Flagstaff when it's 68 degrees outside. So uh, that's actually a hidden benefit of being here during the tropical storm. Um, looking out though, it's still beautiful landscape. You can still see a lot, you just can't see as far anymore. Because there's oh, quite a bit of rain. What, what was that? It said, oh, Rosa. Jackalope, Jackalope. Oh my god, babe. Oh my Let's god. Let's pay attention. Let's pay attention now. I am. Jesus, let's be repetitive now. So, being that there is a tropical storm, I may need to get that windshield wiper after all. Just got to the new RV spot. Looks pretty dope so far. Completely different from the Arizona we just left. I mean, it's still Arizona, but the Coconino National Forest is uh, not a desert. We're surrounded by big trees. And Lumpy couldn't be happier. Hey, Lucifer. You happy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know what he's happy about? No more cactuses. <laughs> so I can spike his feet everywhere he goes. What do you think, baby? Enjoying the fact that we finally got here. That's close. And, and yeah, honestly, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Do you understand the difference between this and what we're in? It's just all over the place. Plumpy's running everywhere. So, in the sunset through the forest, looks like a fire out there. That's awesome. We are on the way to the lava caves, but as you can see, it is raining like crazy. We don't know for sure that we're going to be able to get in, but we're going to give it a whirl. Personally, I'm really excited about it uh, because this will be our first underground adventure on this trip. Everything else is just looking into the ground or at the ground. Now we are going into the ground. Luna, are you excited to go? Very. Very. Cat? Yeah, as you can see, they're real excited. So soon, we'll show you the inside of the cave. Well, that road was crazy bumpy and crazy muddy, and we made it, because good old Laverne here is four-wheel drive. 
Um, we don't know yet if we can access the lava tube, but we're gonna find out. So, hopefully. So I Ooh, this path is it's like what the car had to slog through. Woo. Hey, hey, wait. Wow. Hey, camera to me now. This is, who do you think is the most important person in this family? <laughs> like, any guesses? Yeah. Well, we could have had a litter for him. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we had one, I'd probably do it. Come on, brother, for me. Go? There's a sign right there. Let's head towards the sign. I'm okay knowing that I'm below the dog. Tell us how you really feel. Do you think it's cool? Yeah. I think it's amazing. It's so awesome. It is so cool. <laughs> Welcome to the Lava River Cave, everybody. We've got to read the plaques. Also, there's a plaque over there. Always read the plaques. Yeah, well, We're going to read all the plaques we can real quick, and we'll tell you all about it. But first. Oh. Now, oh, that's an interesting entrance. One person from each party should register over there so that they know if they had to look for anybody. Right. Basically, What's the sign say? It says don't poop in the cave. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of words for don't poop in the cave. Okay, it says other things also like don't put graffiti in the cave, don't let your dog poop in the cave, like da da da. But the main thing was human waste causes disease. Don't poop in the cave. The fact that they have to put that on a sign makes me very concerned. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the signs at the uh, mud spa. If you have to ride it, there's oh, been an incident. Yeah, it's like the mud spa. The, the, yeah. Let's see what this one says. Well, the lava, I already have a picture of this. Three quarters of a mile. Oh We're going to start here. Occasionally bats. We're going to move all Wild. the way three quarters of a mile okay, I'm going up to, to there. Hey, okay, so there's a place where you can go right or left. Okay. Ooh, wait, wait, this is going to be an entire vlog on its own, I think. Yeah. Woo! It's uh, so cold. Uh, Our lumps is shivering. Oh, God, oh my God, it's awesome. I need umbrella help. Yes. Take your umbrella down. There we go. First, start at the beginning. And when you get to the end, Turn stop. around. <laughs> In this case, turn around. Oh, that's right. We can explore both sides. Me and my uh, lumps with my vestigial pouch are ready to uh, go face the cave. Cat has Me a cyclops. And my light are also ready to go face the cave. Here we go. We actually got to wait for Luna to sign in at the top to make sure that you know people know we're in here, just in case. Uh, so this should be fun. So uh, Cat's just made it down. The way <laughs> what I'm surprised about is there's oh, yeah. not a ton of water in here. I guess the lava has sealed it off pretty good. Or there must be just good drainage underneath. Oh my god, that flashlight mm -hmm. makes everything else look like... <laughs> A glow stick. There's all this water up here, which I think is what you were talking about as far as turning into stalactites. Um, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's actually wet, too. It doesn't look wet. Uh, so far, it's been pretty good, pretty tall the whole way, but just back there, I had to duck down like to cat's height. Sad. In order to get through here. Listen, it was actually really easy for me. I don't know why he's complaining. <laughs> Lumpy, you're having a good time, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of flaky bits. A lot of flaky bits. Whoa, that's a pretty big antechamber. It's pretty crazy to see how some of the rocks form here. 
They're like giant flakes and slabs everywhere. And what's, uh, what's really interesting is that um, all of them have flaked off from the wall at some point. And uh, what are the conditions to make it happen? Truth. It is the moment of truth. Right now, we are given the decision. Are we to go left or are we to go right? Are we to take the road less traveled by one dude that I read on TripAdvisor? Or are we to go his direction? Clearly, the answer is going to be left. Let's go. All right. It's too bright for my light. We saw some uh, crazy cave mold here. You can see those crazy hairs coming off of it. Eat some, Luna. Okay. Here, I got it. Wait, there's this square spot. And that reminds Luna of Station 101. <laughs> Check out Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> That's weird. It's a perfect square in the middle of a round cave where everything's so naughty and gnarly. Oh, I almost fell there. Well, you, these rocks are... Lucifer, you want up? No. <laughs> no. Um, Come on. Then I think you need to walk him because you have the more light for him to see and walk by. Come on, Lumpy. Let's go up. We're gonna turn off all of our lights to see what it'd be like to be in complete blackness. Okay, keep it on you. All right, got One, it on me. Two, three. So now we gotta get Shorty again. Oh, I'm too tall. I'm way too tall for all this. Look, a coffin. Right? That's where Cat laid on this year. Give me a story picture. Oh, let me just uh, stop the recording. What you doing? Something that got cold in here. You can see my breath. You're acting creepy. I, <laughs> like, I feel like it's Blair Witch Project going on here. I am so scared. <laughs> I'm making a Karen so it's damn the ghost back. Oh yeah, there's one over here too. And so uh, okay, he's up? answering that Karen with his Karen. As you can see, he's super good at um, balancing things. Not a stretch book though. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> so we made a Karen at the end of the cave. There's no more cave after this. So this marks that we've been here. Log out was pretty hard, huh? The last I'm so white. What the heck? There I am. The hardest part was definitely the way up. But we left our umbrellas at the front and they're still here, so okay. Oh yeah. Now we just gotta take the last couple steps out of the cave. Oh that was awesome. That was great. What do you guys think? Good time? Oh, yeah. That was great. Can I take a nap now? Yeah, was, well, there, I don't think you can start the other. So, uh, final uh, rating, this cave was amazing. Highly recommend you come check it out. Really in the middle of nowhere. You're gonna love it. Next time you're through Arizona. So there is a bunch of little areas of smoke. And they're doing some sort of controlled burn. This would not happen in California. You see fire, you cry, you run away, you tell people.